For the modern politician, nothing quite says getting on with the job than the hard hat and high-vis jacket. And for Boris Johnson right now, he'll go anywhere and point at almost anything to avoid the touchy subject of Downing Street parties. And so today he went to Scotland as part of a levelling up UK tour three days after receiving a questionnaire from the police investigating whether or not he broke lockdown rules. Have you completed your questionnaire and will you publish it in full? All that uh, is a process uh, has got to be completed before I can say anything more. And, uh, but I look forward to telling you a lot more in due course. But is the questionnaire in? I look forward to telling you a lot more in due course. He's got until Friday to send it back to the police, whose decision could ultimately spark a challenge to Boris Johnson's leadership. At this cafe in Edinburgh, customers enjoying a spot of cake have already decided the Prime Minister can't have his and eat it. He shouldn't be here, he shouldn't be in power. Just he's, he's been lying to Parliament. He's in a bit of a mess, so escape to Scotland might help him. If he was decent, he would resign. But well, he's not going to, so we've got to force it on him. It's up to the Tories themselves. Most Conservative MPs are waiting to see if he's given a fixed penalty notice. But Downing Street today wouldn't comment on reports the PM is preparing to argue that the three parties he's alleged to have attended were part of his work. He will use that argument, I would say. Um, I, I don't know how valid that is. <laughs> if it's his home, he's responsible for that. So if there's wrongdoing that's gone on, then the person who's the head of the household would be th those that would be seen as the most responsible. One thing the PM again wouldn't apologise for today was this. What about Jimmy Savile? The leader of the opposition last week mobbed outside Parliament, protesters parroting Boris Johnson's claims. Sir Keir Starmer failed to prosecute paedophile Jimmy Savile when head of the CPS. Today, the police confirm they are now investigating death threats made against the Labour leader. The Prime Minister knew what he was doing when he... Uh, introduced that slur uh, the other day, uh, but this is not about me. You know, there are threats to too many politicians, particularly women. He's facing it from all sides. Scottish Conservative leader Douglas Ross was nowhere to be seen on this Scotland tour after calling for the PM to resign. Boris Johnson finding love hard to come by this Valentine's Day on either side of the border, but he insists he can win it back. Daniel Hewitt, News at 10.